guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing again another advice video <sighs> i should have said vlogmas this is vlogmas day 12 i believe it's day 12 yeah it's day 12 and i'm going to be doing a advice video did i just mention that probably Basically, obviously in my last video I did like an advice to GCSE students because obviously having, I'm technically a GCSE student right now even though I'm what would be classed as year 12 in college because I'm having to retake English. Even though I still passed it, I will point that one out. And yeah. And obviously in year 11 one of the things that goes around quite a lot is you can't revise English or at least that's what most people say and I was one of the people who believed that I will point out but ever since starting college I've sort of learned what I can that you can revise English and what in English you can revise because obviously I originally failed my English until it got remarked so yeah but I've just written down a list of things that you can revise in English in case you're like struggling I will point out this is specific to English language obviously with English literature you've got poems and books like Inspector Calls, Jekyll and Hyde plus then with the poems you've got about 15 poems that you should know even though I, what I will say is don't learn all 15 learn the context behind all 15 but don't learn quotes, quotes from all 15 pick the poems that link have the most topics or link to the most poems because quite often even if you don't get a poem that you've revised, if you know what it links to, you'll have a high chance. Because you just will. And it's obviously going to be easier that way. So I'd say learn about eight, so maybe only half, seven, eight. As long as they link to a lot of topics, then you should be good. But let's just, let's just get into this video. The first thing that you can revise is language features. So examples of language features are simile, metaphor, sibilance, personification, onomatopoeia, alliteration and juxtaposition. And you should know what all of those mean. And I'm not going to tell you what all of them mean because you should know what they mean. You should know what they look like. And if you don't, start learning them because it's going to be handy to you in the future in actually no it's going to be handy to you in the exams because if you don't know the, what the language features look like or the names of them you're kind of a bit screwed you're only going to be stuck on like if you only use simile metaphor personification alliteration you'll probably only get a four or five if you just use those Whereas if you use more advanced or exotic language features like sibilance and juxtaposition, you will have a better chance because you're showing the exam uh, yeah, you're showing the examiner that you know what they are and you know how to describe them and all of that. So you're giving yourself the best chance. But them alone aren't going to get you that grade 9 or 8. What's going to get you that grade 9 or 8 is if you use percep perceptive inference where you find something like you get a quote and you go into depth with it so far that it goes to something that not many people would think of and that's perceptive. It's basically thinking outside the box in terms of your quotes 
The next thing you can revise is structure. And things that are included in structure are sentence, sentence types, like which are simple, minor, complex, and compound. And the types of punctuation, like colon, semicolon, ellipsis, full stop, comma, and I can't think of any more after that. But if, because with sentence, type, sentence types, simple and minor, are used to create effect and sometimes tension whereas complex and compound are usually more for a slow kind of moving the story along slowly not too quick that sort of thing and obviously if you can identify semicolons and why they're used and then that just shows exam the examiner that you know what you're talking about and as long as you explain it clearly you'll get the marks okay now that is in this video if you guys enjoyed don't forget to smash a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below comment any video ideas and i will see you guys in tomorrow's video bye